Okay, disclaimer, I might be saying one of the main characters' names incorrectly because I have a hard time saying regular words correctly. So, here we go. Hi everyone, and welcome back to Big City B. I'm B for those of you who are just joining for the first time. Today's book review is going to be Normal People by Sally Rooney. The basics for this book are that it is going to be a contemporary fiction and check down below for any trigger warnings. Here is your summary. At school, Connell and Marianne pretend not to know each other. But one day, when Connell picks up his mother from her housekeeping job at Marianne's house, a strange and indelible connection grows between the two teenagers. Throughout their college years, Connell and Marianne circle one another, irresistibly drawn together. Your characters for this book. For track one, we have Marianne and Connell. And that's the name I don't know if I'm pronouncing correctly, so let me know down in the comments if I am or if I'm really messing it up. For track two, we have Lorraine, who is Connell's mother, Peggy, one of Marianne's friends in college, Jamie, Marion's boyfriend in college, and Alan, Marion's brother. For track three, we have Marion's mother, Denise, and Helen, who is Connell's girlfriend in the later half of the book. Jumping right into things that I liked about this book, the first thing that I liked was this book feels like a heartbreak on every page. Like it's every page, you turn the page, you read a little bit more, your heart breaks just, just a little bit more. And just like by the end of the book, your heart is just in tiny little pieces all over the ground. Sometimes you just wanna read a sad book, you know? Sometimes you don't wanna be happy. Sometimes you just wanna read a book that makes you miserable. The second thing that I liked about this book was the complicated relationship between Marianne and Connell. And I felt like this is very lifelike because relationships in real life can't really be fit into a neat and tidy little box. They go all over the place. You drift away from people, you come back to them. It's a whole messy, complicated mess. And that's human relationship. And I feel like Marianne and Connell's relationship was true to that. The third thing that I liked about this book was the intimacy of the sex scenes in the book. Really just pinpointing the sex scenes between Marianne and Connell. Me personally, I felt like I was infringing a little bit on those scenes and I shouldn't have been there for that because it was just so, so vulnerable, like such two vulnerable souls coming together and being open with each other. And I just, it was just really, really lovely. Moving along into things that I didn't like about this book. The first thing is that there were no quotation marks around any of the dialogue. And if you guys have listened to my Death with Interruptions review, oh, you know, this just makes my blood simmer. I don't like when there isn't quotation marks around the dialogue. In this book, it wasn't super hard to distinguish when it was a line of dialogue compared to Death with Interruptions because Sally did say, and then Marion replied, line of dialogue, although there wouldn't be quotation marks around it, but you could understand that someone was talking and you knew exactly who was saying the thing. Better, but it could be better with the quotation marks, just put them in. It's just a couple extra, it's like one extra step on the keyboard to. There you go, quotation mark. The second thing that I didn't like about this book was the ending. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, but it's an open ending. Usually I'm 50-50 on open endings. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. In this case, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. I worry about these characters too much for it to be an open end because I don't trust them to make the right decisions for themselves. Okay, let's venture on into what Goodreads thought of this book. The first thing that I saw that people, not people, one particular person didn't like about this book was the description of breathing and exhalation. This person got so caught up on it that their review was completely about how when Sally describes how Connell or Marion exhale or take a breath in, 
it is impossible. This reviewer went ahead and tried to do the described methods of inhale and exhalation and she said it was impossible and caused her to hyperventilate. These are the type of people who are leaving reviews, guys. The second thing that people didn't like was that they didn't really feel like they connected or liked reading about 18 to 20 year old somethings. They felt it was exasperating to listen to their stories. If you know going in, you don't like reading about 18 to 20 year olds, which is a, might I say, very specific age range. That's a two year age range. You are like, nope, absolutely not. 17, fine, 21, okay. 18 to 20, absolutely not. If you know that you don't like reading about that age range, maybe look at the overview and see how old the characters are and you would see this is not a good book for you. Skip it. The third thing that Goodreads didn't like was they didn't like reading about educated, politically involved 20 year olds. Sorry, that's the way the world is going now. Get used to it because that's gonna be everyone. Everyone is becoming more intelligent, more educated, and more politically involved because, oh gosh, who knew, but it affects us. Obviously, I did not like any of these reviews. They're getting me heated. The fourth thing that Goodreads didn't like was they felt like they were disconnected from the story. Agreed, agreed, but I think it was done on purpose. I think this is done because Marion and Connell are so disconnected, not only from each other, but from everything else that's going on around them. I think it was really masterfully done that Sally also wrote it in a way where the reader is disconnected. And I, after I finished the book, someone asked me how, how I liked it. And I was just like, I, uh, I don't know. That, I, I didn't know. I had to like sit and think about it. This has been, I think, what's that meme where she's like doing the math? Like two weeks, two plus weeks since I read this book and I'm only kind of sort of able to put down what I liked and how I felt about this book. So I agree with that, but I think it was done on purpose and I think it adds to the story overall. Okay, so I just reread the quotes that I put down for this book and we're gonna try something different. Instead of me commenting after every single one, I'm just gonna let you sit with it. We're gonna do, just you just sit, sit with what I left you, okay? And one of these quotes, mm, I think I took it out of like a middle of a sentence, so it, it feels like there's more to it. There probably is more to it, but this is, that, that's just the bit that I liked. So anyway, quote number one, the pleasure of being touched by great art. Quote number two, it's not like I get off on being degraded and such. I just like to know that I would degrade myself if someone wanted me to. Quote number three, I guess everyone is a mystery in some way. Quote number four, no one can be independent of other people completely. So I hope you took a moment to kind of reflect over those quotes. Pause if you needed more time to think about it, but just kind of letting that mood wash over you and sink in. Lastly, would I recommend this book? I had a hard time answering this question. And I think one of the reviews on Goodreads summed it up perfectly. I think I liked this book. I don't know, is it, is it kind of masochistic of me to like a book that broke my heart through the whole thing and made me feel weird and disconnected and just like I was floating in a haze for the rest of the day, for the next day too? I don't know. I don't know, I, I, think, I think I would recommend it which is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna recommend it to you. I wanna know what you guys think. Check out Normal People, read it, tell me what you thought. Are you one of the Goodread reviewers who got caught up on how Sally Rooney describes exhalation? Or did you really love it? Or if you read it already, great. You don't have to take the time to reread it again. Just let me know your thoughts down in the comment because I, 
tried to find people who read it because this book, I'm telling you, was all over the place for a long time. I saw a lot of bookstagrammers, a lot of like book Twitter, just I, everywhere I looked, normal people, the book was popping up everywhere. But now I can't find a single person who has read the book. <laughs> Okay, I got off on a tangent. Yes, I would recommend this book to you, although I would say that you need to check in with yourself and find out what your mindset is that time. If you're going through a depressive or sad episode, I would probably steer clear of this book until you're feeling a little bit more neutral or dare I say happier because this book is gonna bring you down a couple notches. Alrighty, that's all I have for you. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed for future videos, bloopers on Wednesdays, book review on Thursdays, monthly wrap ups, who knows more videos, tell me what you want down in the comments below. All the best always, bye.